Hi guys, so I just left my 21 week appointment and I'm crying because, well let's start from the beginning. So my other hospital that I was going to, the lady kept saying, the doctor kept saying like slick stuff and it made me feel uncomfortable. Like the first time we had the appointment, she looked me up and down and was like, you shouldn't be gaining that much weight. And I'm like, did you just call me fat? Like, <laughs> that was kind of annoying, but I was like, you know, it's nothing to change a doctor over. It's really not that serious. So, as I already knew, the next, actually, that same appointment, I told her I thought that I had a yeast infection. I know that's TMI. And she, she was like, you probably just don't know how to wipe. So that really threw me off too and I felt completely disrespected like am I two years old I don't know how to wipe myself excuse me but that was really annoying to me too also the uh, the third appointment I had with her she was an hour late like she wasn't even late she was in the hospital but she was talking to her co-workers right in front of us and she kept saying you're gonna have to wait you're gonna have to wait you're gonna have to wait and it had hit an hour and I'm like all right this is getting ridiculous so she comes over there and then she's like okay let's start your appointment and she's like uh let's let's do your ultrasound and we asked to hear the heartbeat because we didn't get to hear it yet and she plays the heartbeat for like one second and I'm like there was no even dun dun like there was no dun dun like <laughs> like are you for real and then she gives us these crappy pictures one was of the heart and i'm like if i can't see the heart beating in the image why would i want a picture of the heart and not my actual baby and then she gave us a, a picture of the actual baby looking like a gummy and i was i was just really fed up at that point after that appointment her saying i don't know how to wipe and stuff like that like saying i probably don't know how to wipe blah blah, blah this and that i was like i think I'm, I'm i'm done like i'm done with her so i changed my hospital uh, it, it was kind of the wrong time to do that, but I just couldn't go back to her. I just couldn't. I couldn't do it. it. It made me feel uncomfortable. She wasn't giving me, you know, what I asked for properly. She tried to cut everything short, and she was late. Like, I, that was more than three straws, so I was completely over it. So, I changed my hospital today. Number one thing that I loved is that this hospital looks so much more brighter. It was gorgeous uh it's polyclinical and it was it it just looked like a happier place it didn't look like a mental hospital and it made me feel much more comfortable to be there they were very descriptive in their email about what to bring to the appointment and uh what time it was how to find the place everything about this hospital was just easier and more convenient because at the other hospital i would have an appointment and then I would have to come back the next day to make another appointment. Like, I would have to come back the next day to make another appointment. And then that same exact week, I'd have to come back to a different building to go take blood tests and um, urine tests and all that. And it was just very, very inconvenient. It was like three days out of my week. And when I was working, this was even worse. But it was three days out of my week consisting of going back to this one hospital. And then the next few weeks, I would have... I would have um, another appointment so it was it was too much but this appointment they did everything there right there like it was so simple and it was done within an hour so I'm really happy about that and during the ultrasound it was one of the most beautiful experiences I've ever had in my life like I started crying and I don't know if it's my hormones or what it is but I started crying because he showed me everything everything that i've been wanting to see he showed me my, my new doctor showed me and i was so grateful for that i got to see the head i got to see the neck i got to see how the baby was sitting like this i got to see the spine i got to see the back the belly the big fat belly i got to see the calf muscle of the baby like i got to see everything i felt like i knew what my baby looked like more so with that appointment rather than the other uh the, the other hospital which wouldn't show me anything and i i'm just really relieved that i changed the hospital because 
I know a lot of people don't change hospitals, you know, this late in their pregnancy, but I, I just had to. I'm so, I'm so freaking happy about the way that this went. I had her at this appointment and they were so sweet. They held her while I was taking my blood test and stuff. And thank God one of my friends actually showed up. She, she has a four month old. She showed up to help me out too. And I'm just completely relieved, but guys, I'm so glad. Sorry, don't look at the henna I did. I'm so glad that I changed my hospital. Like, don't don't be scared to change your hospital if you feel uncomfortable with your doctor because you don't want to be giving birth and your doctor is being a butt and saying stuff like you don't know how to wipe when you're 22 years old. Because that was disrespectful. <laughs> like, I really feel like that was disrespectful. And this doctor was like, you don't have anything wrong. Like, what is she talking about? He was like, you're perfectly fine. Everything's good down there. Uh, I actually had to heal my own yeast infection, you know, which is normal. But I, it, of course, I would have warned my last doctor because I didn't want her looking all up in there and being like, what's that? Like, uh, might be a yeast infection. She was like, no, it's not. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. I love my new doctor. I got to see everything with the baby like seeing the spine i was like oh my god is that my baby's back that's crazy like i i got to see so much and i'm so freaking relieved so guys listen to your gut i listened to my gut on this one i changed my hospital even though it was so late and not really that late in my pregnancy but it's still kind of late it's like the middle and it is a really crucial time right now like 21 weeks 18 to 22 weeks or something is like a really crucial time but I had to do what I had to do and I should have did it much earlier because I felt uncomfortable with the, the first appointment so do your thing um uh, and thanks for watching